welcome i'm james at customic.com today i'm going to be showing a really interesting image slider with very cool effects let's take a look at the demo if you're watching this from youtube or from any other sites follow the link below and you'll be able to see the live demo from my site and here is a live demo of the flash file we'll be having three images that will rotate depending on where you click your button and you'll also be having this by side buttons that we'll be able to click to the next and previous images in order and we'll i'll teach you how to alter these images from photoshop file say you want to import another image and replace the images that are present here because i'm sure you don't want these images in your site just come down to slide to the slider folder and you can see here the images image one which is that and image two three so if you come to three and make it not visible you can see now you can see image 2 if you make image 2 not visible you can see image 1 if you make image 1 not visible you can see nothing so you will put your three images in the same size that I've put them here just size them and put one image on top of the other then if you want to change these images below here you will come to thumbs you scroll down then you'll see image 1 copy image 1 copy replace image 1 copy and you want to leave image one copy hover image one copy hover is a drop shadow and the stroke effect this lining that you can see the white lining uh, behind each picture and when you're also replacing image one make sure you copy those effects also then image two you want to replace image two image and image three copy let's import it now to flash catalyst once you're done with all that you wanted now import your file from photoshop file that you have downloaded i'm going once you've opened your image from photoshop you can see there's a black background to eliminate that you need to come to slider and there's a layer you need to delete this shadow fill effect click on that and click there to delete it now the first my first policy is when you're making this you need to make all your buttons first before you can make your states so once you want to select to make this button first so to select that button you need to select that and come to thumbs and select the layers of that you need to select that is image one copy image one drop shadow image one copy hover so select you need to put that select those four images choose component and make button then click on up when the button is up you want it to look you want to remove the shadow so you click on that till you see the shadow effect is off so the shadow effect is off the only shadow you have is a small shadow so you want to when you hover it the big shadow to come on top there then when you press down you can put maybe all the shadows to go off you just have the picture alone this image one copy hover is a, is a duplicate of this so it doesn't matter what you do now we make our second button click on this that is our sec that is our button all of them have been compressed to a button then click go to image 2 all the image 2 and make them a button click up up you need to disable you see hover and you need to make hover to be visible and when down you want all the everything all the shadows to be down and go to our third button you repeat the same process select all the image three and make them a buttons and press control when you're pressing down then choose component make it button the same process over
we have our buttons the next button you want to make now that you've made these buttons you want to also make these ones to be buttons so select on that choose component button click on this other one choose component and make it a button then now we can duplicate this state you want a first state to be like this but there's a problem we have three buttons here and we want only one we have these dots here so control plus to zoom in then click on this then control plus to zoom in again for you to get for accuracy so um, you can use shift and decide if it moves fast shift and plus control and directions then you can position it exactly click on that layer and delete it control minus to see everything then we need to duplicate this state duplicate state this is page two on page two you want it you want this image to be on the second picture so we need to remove this picture here which is image three you make image three invisible and you'll see image two then we want to select this dot of ours to come to the third place shift control directions and move it till it's accurate then control minus then we want to select this black and white to come here and this shadow effect to come here that one is in the position this thing called uh, the layer called position and position drop shadow shift control and move it till it comes to this second image on the lower side and we there we have our second state to make our third state you're going to duplicate state then we have our page three and we're going to move this layer to page three then we deselect image two to make it invisible now we have our last image visible then we move this to the third position there we have all our three states now we need to add functionalities to each of these buttons so we'll come to the first button here which will say add will add an interaction to that button add interaction on click play transition to state page one when in any state then we go to our second button add interaction play transition to state page two when in any state okay then our third button play transit on click play transition to state page three when in any state okay we have our three buttons there now we'll add interaction to these side buttons so this side button which will always play the next image in a looping order to do that is very simple we'll just add the first interaction which will be from here to here which is in uh, page one to page two so you play transition to page two when in page one click ok and you can see play transition to page two if in page one then continue the same play transition to page three if in page two click ok play transition to page three if in page two play transition to page one if in page three that if you have these three they loop now we go to the previous one which is the exact opposite of the other one we'll start it when it is in page three you want it to go to page two play transition to page three sorry i've made a mistake there it's quite tricky play transition to state you'll start from page three to go to page two play transition to page two if in page 
3. Play transition to page 2 even page 3. Play transition to page 1 if in page 2. Play transition to page 3 if in page 1. There, we finished with all our interactions. You click Control plus Enter to preview what you've done so far. As you can view now, we have our images here. Our button is working quite correctly and we can move over all these images. We're always going to the next image like that. You come to this other one, you loop the other way around. So, but now our images, they're too hard. Now to make them soft is quite easy. We go back to our flash catalyst and double click here, the timeline and scroll up and click page one click smooth transition put your settings i like using 0 0.5 seconds then i like smart smoothing click ok then click page two then click that page from page two to page one you just smooth all of them then you click control control enter to view the result there is our image slider as you can see the images are moving quite smoothly and that's it for today